Hello all, in this second video of Arduino Uno Q series, we will see the modes of connection, single board computer type, network mode and then direct mode. First we will see the single board computer method. For this you require uh, uh, this multi, multi port docking station hub like this with USB-C dongle. This is a multi port uh, docking station with USB-C cable and it has got two USB sockets one hdmi one ethernet port and sd card slots and then you can power up the uh, this uh, multi port docking station using usb c cable this is from evm this is the best best docking hub available now connect the c cable of docking hub to the you know q and then power up the docking hub The you know Q will boot up. Now you have to connect the uh, keyboard and mouse to the USB ports in the hub. To one USB port, let us connect uh, USB keyboard, and to the other USB hub uh, USB port, let us connect mouse. So USB, uh, to these USB ports, we have connected one keyboard and one mouse. Now the left out is uh, HDMI port which is for output. The HDMI port is connected to either a HDMI monitor or a TV. I am using a HDMI TV. So let us uh, shift the setup near the TV. I have connected my uh, TV's HDMI port to this uh, EVM HDMI. That is a multi-port docking HDMI port. Already we have connected uh, a keyboard and mouse and uh, the Uno Q is powered from the hub. Now let us power up the hub using external power adapter and wait for the Uno Q to boot up. Now in the TV, uh, TV's HDMI monitor, uh, TV's HDMI, uh, HDMI, you can see the uh, Uno Q booting up messages. And finally, you will get the credentials. You have to provide the uh, password to log in. Once logged in, you will get the welcome screen. That is the app lab. Just like app lab, it is a welcome screen. And only in this mode, you will get the drop-down menus. Under the drop-down menus, it is just like a Raspberry Pi, a drop-down menu, applications, run program, terminal, uh, terminal file manager settings and then accessories internet system it is only in sbc mode you'll get down get this uh, drop down menu under the settings you can adjust the appearance display and default apps on the right hand side you can see the wi-fi connect you can uh, uh, change the wi-fi credentials also from this and the same as up lab you have my apps examples and then bricks and at the bottom uh, you can see a launcher that is in the uh, bottom of the screen you can see a launcher from where you can launch a terminal and then uh, a web browser file manager and the file uh, application uh, launchers so everything can be launched from the launcher at the bottom so it is just like a, a raspberry pi screen uh, this single board computer mode uh, it can work individually without your laptop so it is a standalone mode uh, sbc next we'll see the uh, next mode is network mode for this network mode you have to connect the uh, you know Q separately to a uh, separate power you have to provide that is you are not connecting it to PC or to TV separately you have to provide from power bank I am uh, providing power to the you know Q and waiting for the you know Q to boot up now from my PC I am opening the app lab so the main uh, condition is the PC and you know Q both should be at the same network. Open the app lab, wait for the uh, port to be alerted. That is from the network mode. Port is not alerted. On the network mode will display and click on network. 
that is the Arduino Uno Q network and then provide the credentials that is the Linux password for the to log in. Once login is successful, you can see the app lab uh, app lab screen. But here uh, there is no drop down menus. Only the left side examples, bricks, and uh, uh, other uh, uh, kind of other settings. So finally, we can see the direct mode. Direct mode is simple. Uh, use the USB cable, C cable, directly connect to the PC's uh, USB port, and then open the app lab. From once the uh, port is allotted, you'll see. The Arduino you know, queue is connected. Double click on that to open the uh, app lab. So these are the three methods of connection. So SBC, network and direct method. Thank you for watching.